sure. We came, we came to 1964, and I went to work at Skeeter Inn. Uh, the first job I had was running a baby lift. I never skied in my life. <clears throat> Just before Christmas, and J.D. and his associates owned it at that time. Just before Christmas, they sent word down that J.D. Beal wanted to see me. Well, I didn't know who J.D. Beal was, but it sounded pretty important. And so I went up to the office, <coughs> walked in, he introduced himself. We talked briefly, and he said, you're in charge of the ski rental shop. This is just before Christmas. You folks who have lived here know what the rush we have for Christmas. Uh, anyway, with his help and uh, guys like Siggy and, and uh, a lot of other uh, instructors and some of the other owners, well, anyway, we got through Christmas. And I'll tell you what, when the, by the time we got through the Christmas holidays, I could do anything to a ski you could imagine. I could fix it. I could put mine and so on. Anyway, that's, that was my start. Eric Wendish was general manager. And uh, then they kind of moved me out of the rental and began to give me other duties. And uh, I remember how Eric used to drive a bike call. We had a bike call back. And they put a put a different engine in it and a different transmission. Instead of being an automatic, it was geared like a car. <laughs> Boy, Eric could tear up the side of the hill and that thing. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun and uh, did a lot of work. I cut one of the trails there one year, the one we were talking about earlier called Pass Hill. And the area had a cable lift boat. And you folks, if you don't know what that is, instead of having it being hydraulic, it was cable operated. So you could put no down pressure really on the blade. One steering steering arm, the other one the steering brake didn't work, so when I when I got up to the top to start to make my cut down the hill, I had to get get it angled and set right so I could come out right at the bottom. <laughs> That's the way I cut that hill. And of course back then we had a high load, high road and a low road. You could swing around, come on down to the main main uh, trail. But we had a lot of fun. Uh, Eric and I some days, uh, the area was looking at developing further back towards the Black Mountain. And I think there's some possibilities even now, if I understand it. But after every heavy snow, either Eric and I or Eric and Ziggy uh, normally would go back in there. And we'd go back in. Uh, they'd take us up, kind of up on the upper part of the, uh, behind the main lift on the side call. And then we'd go in with using skis and climbing stems on our skis. It was an all-day trip. You carried a lunch, you carried a flashlight, because you might not get in before dark. And uh, <coughs> we'd go back to the old Gold Hill, Black Mountain, uh, checking wind and the amount of snow and what it was doing to the different areas. One time, Tom Parker was there. And we were, uh, we were way back in there, headed up kind of towards the old hill, and uh, blizzard hit. And uh, old Tom nicknamed that hill up there, Blizzard Pass. Because <laughs> we were just kind of feeling our way along. We were just, it was almost a line out. But uh, we had a lot of fun back in those days. We, when, the, when the lift closed, like Siggy and Elsa were talking about, Man, to the Alpine you went and uh, spend an hour or so there, you know. Uh, Eric played a lot of, uh, what would you call it? It wasn't, it was... Uh, Polka. Polka, is that right? Anyway, it, it, it was a different type of music, you know. <laughs> Country and Western, and everyone kind of hurt this, you know. Sometimes the, sometimes the record would get... Needle get stuck on the record, then you go over and over and <laughs> over. Uh, later on, then we uh, started our shop. <clears throat> I remember in the. Uh, what year did you start that? What page? Pardon? What year did you start your shop? 